Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I want to show you how you can get the total sales based on the last n weeks selection from the slicer. So in the slicer let's say you select the latest date you have the range in the slicer and the last range is what you are selecting the latest selected date and then go back to last let's say one week two week three week and get the total sales so it's the overall formula which i will going to show you that will going to help you a lot when you are doing the date related calculation before i show that just a quick information that if you have landed very first time on my channel then this sheet which is a google sheet i am keeping the link of the sheet within the description that way you can easily go in into the description get the link come over here and search any of my videos that i have posted previously also since it is a live sheet i keep updating it that means uh, whenever you need it you can come over here keep it as a book and uh, this you will find it always most up to date that way uh, you will need you will get whatever you need uh, hopefully by that time i have published it uh, into this into this sheet and as you can see you can search it and using the column b where the link is present you can uh, jump to the video also i'm keeping the exercise related videos in the second tab so you can put it uh, you can use these as well so i keep updating the sheet make sure you have it as a bookmark and uh, get the most out of it all right with that let me jump to the power bi all right so here i am in the power bi and what i am using is my regular superstore data set and within that what we have created is the order calendar table right so if i show you this is the order calendar table over here which is the based on the minimum start date and maximum start date and then week number is also a calculated column which is based on the week number then what we did is based on the formula uh, this formula which is uh, previous two weeks from the selected date using the date add last date order date minus 14 is to go two weeks back and you need to use the day as a parameter so 14 days back it goes based on what you have selected so selection is the 14th of uh, fab and if you go back to 14 days you what you get is 31st of jan right so with that information we want to bring the sales related information so for that what i will going to you do is i will click on the new measure and we will say last two weeks sales and within that we will use the calculate function and within that calculate we will have what uh, the expression about uh, about this um, this table and then the filter within the filter we will have this um, what do you call the date ranges so quite straightforward right so we'll use some of superstore sales right and we will use the date um, dates between and we have the dates so dates is basically based on this order date right so we will have order calendar date and we want to give the start date so start date is basically last two weeks date right uh, this one so i created at a wrong place but let me see if i get this right uh, previous two weeks so dates between is previous two weeks from selected date comma the se last selected date which is the latest so let me bring the first of all date we have this last date right and uh, then we will use the order date calendar date and we were going to close it right so now close the entire function so dates between so sum is this and filter is what we have ended last date we have ended date between and we enter we need to close the calculator as well so this is the function so if i show you uh, slightly in a better way so this is the sum right within the calculate alt enter is what i am pressing right so in calculate first we did the sales in the filter we use the dates between we give the name of the uh, column in which the dates are present that is order date over here right 
here you go the order date calendar order date and then we have the previous two weeks as the first date that is created as a as a different measure and the last date is i'm giving it dynamically based on this selection and then clicking ok so last two week sales it has created it over here but let me see what it is giving you select this and last two weeks is what you are getting is 8.34k is the last uh, two week sales which you can validate based on this information so uh, i think over here we can do that sum of sales is present here and if i say simply like or i can select it from here um to december december 2020 Ooh, you have only 30 december is that what it is oh jen sorry 20 20 sorry uh jen first um what do you have is 31st jen Two, four, so eight, three, three, six. So eight point three four is what you're getting. Absolutely, what you get uh, from the validation. So with that information, um, that's pretty much it. What I wanted to show you. And now I'll meet you in the next video with the new topic.